Okay, guys, day two. It's a miracle that I even turn this camera on and that I even have the will to continue this. Cause you know when like you're in a vibe, you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna clean the attic, but then like it gets disrupted and it's still a mess up there. I don't know if you could see. So I'm honestly proud of myself for picking up the camera again to go in there so I can finish this thing. So I'm gonna kind of give myself a time limit of an hour because that's what our oldest nap time, son's nap time is. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the thing. So let's go. And I got my eyes talking with me. This is where we left off. And see, I wasn't lying. That bug is still there. He will forever be there. <laughs> so let's see what it looks like. Dang. Definitely better than the last time, but I want this to be very neat, organized, and empty out, so let's do this. Okay, so where did we leave off? And I actually have been working, well, today's the first day I've started to work out again. <laughs> I'm doing the grow joke because that just seems to work well with me. If you want to see a whole video on me trying it for a week straight and the results, you can see it in this card right here. But okay, I have some random stuff. I think I'm going to keep this, I, but I got to just keep a run out how to close them back up but like summer winter fall stuff like that oh wow well, i actually condensed it but now it's still gonna pop up do you have some tape yeah that's one way to do it this is Matt's. he used to play baseball and i've seen him play before at like a family gig and he's actually oh, really good I remember we were like still dating and I was like really attracted to the fact that he was so good. <laughs> so yeah, oh my gosh. I don't wanna know how old this water is. That is going in the trash. So nasty. Some cleats and some gloves, I guess what you call it. Obviously I'm gonna keep this here because this is sentimental to him. And he was actually the other day trying to teach Jerry how to play for the first time is really, really beautiful to see. Oh my gosh, this is like literally another prop bag. Oh no, there's other stuff in it, but. Yeah. This has honestly got to go. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, so here's the other. So, you know, in case you need a gorilla mask. <laughs> I don't even want this creepy thing in here. I'm gonna ask Matt if we can get rid of this. Bow, it's definitely is a cape we don't really need stuff like this you know it's another cape oh no this is actually a jesus outfit this is oh it's a ninja suit oh my gosh so we have this this is matt's he actually did this prank long ago in ocean city where he wore this fat suit and he just was like trolling people he used to be the biggest troll ever so i'm gonna like, gather all this and Ask him if we can get rid of it. What's this? Oh, these are sweats. I wore this for an Amazon video. I don't know why I put it up here. I would wear this. It's just red and black. And then that same video, I wore these funky pants. It reminds me of Britney Spears. Would literally never wear these. So I'm gonna just donate them. Even though they're so cute. They're actually so cute. But yeah, I wore them once for a video. Still in perfect condition. I was thinking like all the things we ever used for videos and then ever touched again. I was like, what if we made a store full of all the stuff? Would you guys buy from that? <laughs> Some bags in here. It's a lot of random stuff. Oh yeah, look, because I was so into cornflakes. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Okay, these they do the costumes. So I'll just put the costumes in here. Found another one of these. Gloves. That's what I was looking for, actually. Let me put, I guess, the wigs in here because there's a lot. <gasps> this is Mr. Potato's head. Mr. Potato's head's hat. Kids have been looking for this forever, I think. So I'm gonna make sure I put that here. And then, oh my gosh, this chicken purse. Like, I will never use it, but this is so funny. I think the kids would think it's really funny. It's like amazing, like those videos, we didn't have kids, and now that we do, we're like, oh, they would like this. It's a chicken bag. I'll link it down below if you want it. <laughs> I would wear these again. Trigger pants, I already have some trigger pants, but I would totally wear these again. This is a cute fanny pack. I feel like I need to utilize fanny packs more as a mom. I think I'm gonna keep that. Okay, and then what's in here? Oh, these are for the, oh my gosh, guys. I have to like put some moments in here. This is for that video where we did the Korean fan dance. I can't believe I literally ordered white fans on Amazon and then I made it myself. 
I'm very proud of that. That's also gonna get donated because I don't need that anymore. I don't think Matt's gonna let me give this away. He's used this in his old videos, so I'm gonna have to ask him about that. This is cute. Maybe I could like put like makeup, like become like a makeup bag. I might actually keep that for makeup bag because I don't really have one. Okay. So now let me look at the rest of this. Okay. Oh, a little baseball bat. Actually, I'm gonna let the kids play with this because this is very small. Where's the camera at? Oh. <laughs> I'll say hello. Wait, can I, while you're here, can we give this away? Everything that's in this bag? This this fast suit is legendary. I know, I was and telling this, them about it and this, I- This pizza hat is very legendary. I told them that you would probably likely not let me get rid of the pizza hat. And then the um, gorilla suit, can I just donate all of it? You're not gonna wear it. That's legendary. Just right, anyway. <laughs> I know I found that's what I found the twenty five dollars yesterday the other day from Baskin Robbins. Oh. Then we actually got ice cream. I'm gonna wear this. I don't like here, but these are cute. You put them on your wall. So, oh my gosh, this is like a ninja thing. I'm gonna have to bring give this to the kids. And then I have oh, a bag full of picture frames. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. I think these have been stored away for a minute. Oh, I made like a calendar when Matt and I got married of like some of the photos that made sense. January, got this cheersing, February kissing. This is 2020. Obviously I can't really use it again, but I can use the photos. I could totally use the photos individually. So I'm gonna definitely keep that. Oh, and I put this on a registry. I literally thought this was like a gigantic sign and it was, it's literally a little bit bigger than my head. It says marriage prayer. Lord, help us to remember when we first met and the strong love that grew between us. Help us love in practical ways so that nothing can divide us. May our words be kind and our thoughts be gracious. May we remain humble enough to ask for forgiveness and wise enough to freely give. I don't think it's aesthetically the cutest. It is a prayer though. It's a marriage prayer. So I'm just like wondering if this is good to like have somewhere randomly in the house just because it's a marriage prayer. So I'm gonna keep that one. Oh my gosh. This is the first time, our first sebe, which is like for Korean New Year when you bow to your parents. And it really meant a lot to me when Matt and I first bowed to my parents. So um, I literally kept the money that my parents gave. It's like, it's real money. I chose to frame it. I keep that. Aww. I kept this in my room back at, oh, I'm gonna put this in my craft room. Oh, I'm gonna totally put that in Jerry's room. See, it's so cute to have kids now and to be able to like use the things that you used to use. Our honeymoon, we never went on one. <laughs> it's always better when we're together. That's cute too. But like I have not used these frames. Oh, my niece drew this for me for Christmas. This is when we got our 100,000 plaque. I'm gonna definitely keep that. This was when I did the DNA test for my dog and I found out he was a mulchy, Maltese and Chihuahua. Oh, and then I have little frames. These are cute. I think I'll actually put these in my craft room because I don't have like, that's cute too. Because I want to make my craft room feel a little bit cuter and stuff. This I'll probably keep up here. I don't know. I feel like frames like this, like I won't actually look at them. Okay, and then, oh, here's another doggy butt. It's so cute. Okay. I think this is from our P.O. box and stuff. I'm going to put all this stuff from our P.O. box here. So now I have a big tub. Oh, that's what I found. I didn't have to take this after all. Could have just stuck it in here and it would have stayed. But yeah, I don't know what to put in this tub. I mean, it's so funny. It sticks right in here, but I'm glad I found that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. A lot of the stuff I'm actually getting rid of, but some sentimental stuff, you know. I don't know. And I don't know if Matt was joking about, like, the costume stuff. So we already have, like, a wedding box out there. Let me look at the rest of these bags. Oh, yeah, I don't... I mean, this is kind of cute, but... No, I think I'll keep this. I actually kind of like this for the fall. What's this? Oh, is this a tent? Oh, my kids will love this. I think it's a tent. Like, a pop-up tent. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. This is so fun. I love it. There's some more random stuff. Like a belt, I'm pretty sure. Got this for a costume, so I'm gonna put that in the donut pile. And I got these for when Maxie had a birthday party. I threw him a huge birthday party. It was the cutest thing ever. I invited all my friends with their dogs. It was literally the cutest thing I've ever done. But I don't think I need these, so I'm gonna donate that. So since I cannot find the lid for this, I actually might make this big tub the donate tub. So I'm gonna try to fit everything in there. Things that are already in bags, I think I'll I'll just leave. Okay, yeah, I feel pretty good about that so far. 
I believe this is fall stuff. I feel like I'm the person type person that loves to decorate during the season, but then like once I become a mom, I just felt like I just kind of lost sight of that, and I I do want to bring that back. Oh my gosh, these are fake tattoos. <laughs> that is going in the costume slash prop. I think like stuff like this. I mean, it's kind of random. The style has definitely changed a bit. One of these pumpkins, which are pretty cute. Definitely use that. This thing of paint, which I'm pretty sure this paint is just cracked and dry. Smells like fall in here. I love that smell, actually. Oh, I have cute little goodie bags and stickers. I'm gonna keep these. I don't know why there's so much paint, but it's been mostly used, I love it. Okay, yeah, pumpkins. Oh, cute! <gasps> My kids will love it. I don't know why I randomly have these. So I have these little mason jars and flowers. I'll keep this because I feel like I'll like to use this when it's fall time again. I just didn't know it was here because I put them in the attic. You know what? I might keep that one pillow I said I wasn't going to keep and the blanket because it's just for like a season. So this is, I feel like an attic is where you keep your seasonal things because you're not really using it except for once a year. Let me find that again and put it in here. Okay, so this pillow I'm just going to keep because we have a white couch that would look really good with at least two throw pillows on it. So instead of buying a new one, I'm just going to reuse these. And then this blanket, touches of orange, I'll just bring it back out in the fall and put it on our couch in the living room. There we go. I'll put it in the back for now. All right, we're making a lot of progress. So now I'm staring at my wedding dress. I'll show you guys. Okay, so that's my wedding dress, veil, and my humble. That's always gonna be up here because I really don't need anything for that. So that's gonna stay so long. I can't kind of see. Oh, there's oh, there's my yoga mat. So I'm gonna just move this out of the way to look. This is the new veil I got from when I retried my wedding dress on. Oh my gosh, she's a beauty! I don't know if everyone feels this way about their own wedding dress, but I truly feel like I had the most gorgeous wedding dress ever. Like, I'm just so grateful for it. The train was so long. So obviously, I didn't have anything to quick preserve it. It's so pretty though, I love it. Love it so much. So I'm gonna leave that there, along with my veil, and along with my humbook. And then I think there's another humbook in here, so let me go ahead and check that out. So this is Matt's handbook. So if you ever needed it again, we'll know that it's up here. Randomly my purse. I think I'm gonna bring my handbook up here. I know it's downstairs in one of the closets. So I'm gonna actually, this is from BDK Mint. They're amazing, 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 amazing. All right, so I'm gonna be right back because I do want to bring things up here too. So like officially it's hot outside now. So winter coats, winter shoes, and then our kids' humbooks and anything else I feel like needs to come up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Whew, that was quite the annoying trip. I brought all of our <laughs> winter coats that we're surely not to wear. Sorry, I'm still out of breath. Cause it's legitimately hot outside. Like I was sweating outside yesterday. So all the big jackets. Whew, I'm gonna go up here. It's gonna clear up so much space though, it already did, obviously. So I'm very happy about that. And it's nice to put everything away nicely because then you'll thank yourself when it's time to get everything again. It's crazy though, like you, you with the kids stuff, you never know if they're gonna still fit the same size or I'm sure Sam's gonna start to fit into Jerry's things. So yeah, it's gonna be a whole year from now. Crazy, crazy. <sighs> Look how nice that looks. Okay, and then I found a lot of winter hats, winter shoes. Definitely gonna put the shoes in the cubbies, which is awesome because I don't really have anything else to put them in. So let's get that stuff. Okay, before I move on though, this is our kids' humbooks. Always gonna keep these and preserve them. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna put my pink little bag in this because my humbook is hanging up and this has some prop-like things in here as well. I'm just gonna keep everything in here and on top of the mouth humbook fits perfectly. So I've bumped up the ISO on this camera. And so I, what I'm gonna do now is put the shoes in these cubbies. We've actually never utilized them before, but I think it's perfect for that because we don't have like a shoe, set, a shoe shelf or anything. Oh gosh, I'm not banging things too loudly in here. I'm with this. I think it's harder to do this because I'm trying to be kind of quiet. But anyways, I'm gonna put our shoes, like these Uggs are super busted, but. <laughs> Put like my shoes in the bottom or like bigger shoes like this. Matt got me these black Uggs. I love them. 
I'm sure I'm missing some shoes downstairs, like mats. Yeah, I am because I actually only got mine. And some boots right now. These are really cute. They're Vans and they have a lot of traction. So like they're good for the snow. Granted, they're not snow boots, but Matt got me these and he got himself a pair way back when. So, yeah. And then I have these boots and then I have my Sperry's. Sperry's had this like crazy insane sale for like everything. I was like 80% off or something. I remember that's when I got these. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to move everything around once I get Matt's stuff, but I'll put those here for now. And then we get the kids snow boots, these little Lego boots Jerry got for Christmas. So cute. I'll definitely put those on top. I might end up switching what I put in these areas, but I'm just gonna put it here for now because it's always been empty and it's better to put these here than to not. So they're so cute in there. So that was fast. I randomly came across this. Let's see what's in here. So a bunch of random humidifier. I don't really see myself using this again. So I think I will donate it. Okay, we're making progress. A few more things. There's some like drawers down there. I think I'm gonna put stuff in there that I know I'm probably never gonna open again. And you might think like, well, what's the point of keeping any of that kind of stuff then? But for example, we have a bag in front of me of all of Matt's first or old dog. And we just don't wanna get rid of stuff like that. Yeah, so I'm going to probably look at that now. Oh, wait a minute, this is not just stuff from his dog. Let's see what's in here. Oh, so this is all the cards I've ever given Matt. <laughs> Look, Maddie, Matt, Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. <laughs> I love this, everything just says Maddie. Oh, I kept this. He kept this because he was trying to figure out how to write Appa. This is so cute. It was literally on a napkin. You know, we're both pretty sentimental people. This is pretty sentimental. I love this. I'm obsessed that he kept it. Oh, well, all these letters, they really means a lot, you know? And so this is something that will be like a memory section. Remember I said that earlier? So kind of like along with the wedding box which there's still a lot of room in that wedding box. I'm wondering if I should like make that more of a, a memory box rather than a wedding box because there's so much room in it. So yeah, oh, this is the pillow that his dog used to lay on. You can see the fur on there. This is all of his college stuff. He always wants superlatives for like best smile. I mean, come on. And I'm grateful for it because he totally gave our kids the best smile too because they got those dimples. I'm totally just going through all this stuff. Oh my gosh, here's his original baby photo. Do you remember how they were like so big, those photos? Look! Oh, it's so cute! I've seen that one before many times. Anyways, this is clearly just all of his memories, including his secret diplomas in there. Oh my gosh, this is his graduation cap that I made for him. It says, I'm subscribed to Jesus. Oh my gosh, this is so poorly made, but it was a really cute concept. Yeah, this is like memory stuff. I really do think I'm gonna put all the memory stuff in that big tub. So I'm going to put this to the side for now and kind of put that all together. I think that just makes sense. Okay, and then I brought this big blue bag back. So we have a bunch of Christmas towels that we obviously aren't gonna use now. So I tried to make this tub like a seasonal because we have a lot of our Christmas stuff downstairs as well. But yeah, like these are seasonal cat and dog toys. So yeah, hopefully everything fits because most of the Christmas stuff is downstairs. I got this from my own room. I think I'll, I think I'll probably give this away. Don't need that. Blankets. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll just keep this and then the next holiday season, if I don't like it, I'll just get rid of it then. I think I'm just gonna hold on to this stuff for now. Usually I'll keep a, a fleece like cute like this in the kids' room. There's definitely a lot of stuff in here that we won't be touching for a long time. All dog and cat stuff. I don't know that they don't really like to play with stuff. So I think I'm honestly gonna get rid of that. That actually fits really well. And most of the Christmas stuff is downstairs, like I said. So I'm gonna comment down below if you're still with me. <laughs> it's a long video. Okay, so this is all of our scarves and stuff, like a blanket mostly scarves some hats that are more like display like maybe the display like stuff we'll put up there but yeah these hats and scarves are definitely not going to be utilized for the next year so i'm gonna 
put that over there. Yeah, I might put that up there because this is where all the coats are. I might move the humbooks here on the shelf. Okay, there's another random bag of a million photos of me and Matt. Because <laughs> we did a meet and greet and we just like signed these photos. I, oh my gosh, it's crazy how many we have these. And we have an exclusive, two exclusive t-shirts. I got two t-shirts in there, a card reader. Oh my goodness, like what are we gonna do with all this? Would you guys want some? It's so funny. And then we have a bunch of plastic shirt holders. I do not know what to do with this stuff. This is a sewing so for us. <laughs> oh, and this. Y'all are so creative. Whew, okay, I am getting really hot. Okay, we're getting down to the wire. It's already starting to look good better. So this is a yoga mat. I don't really do yoga like that, but you know what, I'm gonna bring this in the basement because we are trying to slowly really make that into a uh, mini gym. So bring that down there. I think most of the stuff that's in here, stuff I'll keep. What's this? Oh my gosh, this, this was for our um, one video. I, I'm blanking on it. It was a Disney video and we make costumes. This is actually a really cool costume, but it is a costume nonetheless. So I'm gonna put it here because I don't think we use that again. Okay, so I think some of the stuff that's in here is kind of like sentimental stuff, donation stuff. So let me truly move everything that's gonna be donated out because I don't want to keep that in because it's, it's gonna confuse me. Well, it's time lapses. Okay. So I finally made a lot more space in here. So if you saw the video where we looked through our wedding stuff, this is the bin. So everything kind of remained, but there's actually a lot of space. And it's not stuff I really want to get rid of. I think because there's so much space and it's still very sentimental things, I don't know why this is in here. Um, I'm totally just gonna mix other sentimental stuff into this so that we're not wasting unused space. Okay, so this is Matt's. And here's his letter box. So this is the pillow. I'm actually gonna put it in a bag to kind of reserve it a little better. I mean, obviously it's just a pillow, but still. This is just some more memorabilia, like photos, this graduation cap. I'm wondering if I can also put some of the things from our PO box in here. Yeah, I feel like the PO box I'm gonna put some of the slice and ice stuff that we got from our PO box in this box. I feel like that makes perfect sense. Um, I just looked through all the slice and ice PO box stuff to kind of condense it. And I'm glad I did because um, I was able to kind of like put gifts together like in here and then letters. So that used to be in here, but now it all fits in this super happy about that I think I might even be able to fit this in there it does fit kind of tough. now is the organizing this whole section part oh my gosh I forgot okay hold on there's more slice and nice letters amazing you guys are amazing I'm actually gonna keep this out. I feel like it just doesn't fit and it made it feel, feel really awkward. So let me look through this again and then just really quickly. Oh wait, these are letters from us or that I kept. Oh, time castle stuff for Jerry. So sweet. So this is still memorabilia for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the baseball thing in there. Cause this is perfect as it is. There's still more space, but we're always gonna add to it, I'm sure, for time. I'll just put it on top for now. All right, well, I literally think this is everything. Do one final, like, organization. Okay, so everything on this bench is to donate. Everything there is to bring downstairs, um, but if you don't remember what the before looked like, here it is now. And here's the after. Can you see the floor? So, this shelf didn't have anything on it, but it just was like randomly placed. I just put the books that I found that we've either read or haven't really read <laughs> uh, over there. 
obviously I put all of the winter coats here that we will no longer be using this until next winter. My wedding dress is still there. I put the winter scarves there, made more sense. So the humbooks are right there. I put some winter shoes in here. The bottom I'm gonna leave for Matt's shoes. I still haven't gotten that. That is just wedding stuff and memorabilia. That is seasonal things like fall decor and stuff like that. That was Matt's baseball thing. And then here is just um, baby stuff. So this is for when we have a future baby, stuff that I'm keeping, and then that's all baby clothes. So I think I did an awesome job in here. And I do hope you guys enjoy this. Sorry, I'm looking rough. I mean, I'm not really trying to look cute when I'm cleaning up the attic, but um, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this. I do a lot of talking videos and stuff, but a lot of it's cooking on my personal channel. But if yeah, if you like stuff like this, please comment down below. It'll really help us. I think the next thing that I want to tackle is the side garage that we have. It just has a lot of junk in there and I want to make it clean. And Matt and I have visions to turn it into something, maybe like a movie theater. <laughs> but we also have a playground in there that we really want to uh, set up too. We kind of held it off for like years. So let me know if this kind of stuff interests you guys. And even if not, thank you for all the support. Thank you so much for all the supportive comments all the love that you guys have been showing us especially matt we really appreciate you guys and um yeah i just hope you guys have a good one and see you in the next one bye